Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. This Thanksgiving will be a little different for a good bit of people and especially for my family. We're not getting together. We have a couple of people who have had surgeries recently and uh, surgery planned and a few of us have underlying conditions and probably should not take our risk uh, during this COVID uh, outbreak again. Regardless of whether you're with friends or not, I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous Thanksgiving. Uh, friends or family, I should say. Anyway, kind of keeping it low key. Um, just gonna do me some pumpkin cookies and maybe make a spinach and madeleine, which I love. Um, you know, just just kind of hang out. Maybe put a tree. Maybe maybe I'll put a tree up, even though I, I am uh, packing my house, <laughs> packing up, soon to be moving once I do get my my new forever home wherever that may be uh, wish me luck with that it's been difficult because <laughs> because everybody's looking for a house right now and slim pickings um, the interest rates were incredibly low and um, fought a fought a good six or seven houses that I've lost because and I say fight because if you're minutes minutes later than someone else coming in and and you know making an offer then you can forget it you can just forget it so I did find a nice little home that I think uh, my son Logan is going to be with me to and move in and I think I think we're gonna really like it it's it's kind of in bumfuck Egypt in Watson I'm just saying but it's a beautiful area and um, maybe it'll be worth the drive and I can sit and uh, in my car for a little over an hour and um, think about things listen to music books on tape whatever you know it's gonna be okay it's gonna be fine okay let's get to the reason <laughs> why I wanted to do a video today this is mm, oh man wow I, I poured it about eh, maybe 15 minutes ago this is a wine that I was able to try for the first time a few years ago when I went to visit uh, my son Chase and his girlfriend Cassie in um, when he, they were still in Ames, Iowa. It was in, no, no they weren't. Actually they were in New York. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. This this was when they were, they, they were still in upstate New York and um, they've been, you know, under very strict quarantine situation at Cornell University and so I haven't been able to visit them this year sadly and um, but this is the wine they got me last year for the holidays for Christmas and I've held on to it hoping I could share it with them but I can't wait anymore it's a 2016 Upchurch Cabernet Sauvignon red mountain wine and um, the first time I had this particular wine, uh, it was a 2015, and this is a 2016. And it's a fabulous winery, so I'm told. I hope to one day visit there in Washington State. Uh, that's where Cassie's from. And I uh, can't wait to, to visit that area and try their wines. But this wine blew me the fuck away. <laughs> the first time I tried it. It was actually a, a wine that her parents had visited and brought to them and we shared it that last day before we left to come back home. And I have my little aerator, my little my little robot. I love him, he's so cute. And I've already poured so my aerator kind of helps it to open up where well, the air comes in and it, I'll just show you a little bit of this if you hadn't seen it, my little menagerie aerator, see? Okay, so it comes out, it's already kind of aerating the wine for you. And of course I've had it open. If you wanna decant it, you can do that. But it's, it's had enough time to breathe to where maybe I can get some of these nuances here. Okay, I'm not sure about my tasting uh, taste buds these days. Maybe my allergies are acting up, but we'll see, we'll see. All right. Oh man, you can just, can smell the good quality of this wine. It's not a cheap bottle. Uh, I don't know exactly the price and I want to give away a price of, of a wine that was a gift. So it was, it doesn't matter the cost. It It's just, it's the experience 
and the flavors and the everything about the wine. Okay, let's see. Oh, I get some very dark plum, plummy, um, oh man, plastic? <laughs> Sometimes I get some very strange, uh, this is very strange notes, but I'm sure there's a technical term for it. Mm. Oh my God. So silky. It's so silky. And it's got a bright raspberry on the on the front. This is brighter than the the nose. But the finish, oh my! On the back of my palate, here on my tongue, there's this tingling sensation going on. At the tip of my tongue, there's a tingling little sensation going on as well. And it is very happy, bright, but not like off-putting bright. Not like um like you would expect from a crisp white wine or something like that. No, no, this 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 brightness is also balanced with a very nice darkness of a, uh, of a, of a plum that's hidden in the background and balancing it out. And man, man, this is just as good as I remembered. If not better, if not better, I mean, hey, I, I think maybe I let it age at just the right time, and I think it's going to be. Mm. I think it's a good decision that I opened it today, even though I'm kind of alone drinking it. I thought it might pair well with my butternut squash pumpkin pinto bean stew that I made a few days ago. <laughs> uh, I'll be cooking later, but this is leftovers and I thought it would pair well. Here's my little stew. Oh, I sprinkled some Parmesan over it. It's going to be delicious. I think it's going to pair well with this. Oh man, I'm still getting, there's almost a dankness in the back. Now for a cab, it doesn't have a very powerful sweetness that you may get from some calves so that's kind of a good surprise in a way because i don't know it just seems like that may take would may take away from this um my hair is ridiculous anyway i got dressed today and put makeup on and tried to do my hair it can't it's not gonna look as good as juana did it when she fixed it for me in texas wine country but, you know, I'm not the girly girl, but I thought it might make me feel better today since it's a holiday. You know, you do what you can. And this wine is amazing. I miss my family and I miss my friends. Um, I'm happy to have my son Logan here and my cousin Eddie. They're working on their video game that they are developing. Doing a great job with it, too. Um... Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Love you. Bye-bye.